If you haven't heard already, Preydog has made the Unreal Engine Injector and it is incredible. You can inject yourself into a VR environment in any Unreal Engine game. Now I'm going to show you exactly how to install the VR injector and be sure to stay to the end because I'm going to be showing you right at the end exactly where to get all the right profiles and all the right settings for certain games which need just a little bit more tweaking. I'd like to start by thanking the flat screen to VR Discord channel, which I will be linking in this video's description. So do check them out because they helped me a lot getting this set up. And we are going to start by setting up Unreal Engine VR. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to head over to Preydog's GitHub. I'm going to send the link in the description. You're going to head over to the stable download version, which is at the bottom and click on download. Now, if you are like me, you have strong security on your computer. Um, it's going to think it's a virus and that's normal because it is a software injector. So it injects uh, code into already existing games. So uh, it's going to think it's a virus. So to fix that, what you're going to have to do is go over to your Windows security folder and you're going to need to set an exception to um, your downloads folder. Now you may not have the same problem as I did, so don't worry about it. But if you do, there are plenty of tutorials online. So have a look on YouTube. And once you've done that, all you need to do is extract the software. Now um, you'll see a blue icon. That is the application we're going to be using. That's the injector. Make sure you have the framework 6.0. So if you look in the, read, in the readme file, you'll see a link to that. Uh, download that and um, you should be good to go soon. Now guys, while you are downloading the .NET 6.0 framework, make sure you choose the right operating system. Now you can run the software. Now always run it as administrator and they've got a little handy button here if you forget, which will relaunch it as administrator. And if you look at this draw down tab, you can choose the software which you want to inject VR into. You can see it's got my OBS and my recorder there. That's all right. You should have the game running in the background before you start the software. That way you'll be able to select at your game and inject the software. Make sure you choose OpenXR if you want to use it on a Oculus Quest 2 or 3 and uh, push inject and we're good to go. Now for many games such as Spyro, that's all you can really need to do. You can play the game using the keyboard and mouse or with a games controller and you can push insert to do all kinds of customizations and changing any options required. However, if we're going to be playing with something like a Pico or with a Quest 3 or 2, you're going to need to install a profile which is going to remap the keys. So we're going to do that next. Now head over to the flat screen to VR Discord and if you have a look on the left hand side you'll see the Unreal Engine Injector section. If we go to games you'll see a whole selection of games that have already been profiled. You'll see whether they run well, you'll see whether they have 6 DOF which is vital for shooters. You'll basically see a lot and actually in this area you can scroll down and find the game that you want to play. Look they've got Hogwarts. <laughs> Brilliant. Or if you want, you can search in the top for the game that you're particularly looking for. So I'm going to look for ready or not. And I'm going to click on that profile. And this is the chat which is specific to ready or not. So if you need any support for ready or not, you can do so. Now we're going to push up the top here on the three dots and we're going to look for pin. And in this section, we're going to push the pin at the top and there's going to be a link and that's going to take us to the next page, which is going to have the profile and the dot INI, which is going to be really, really crucial to getting the keys mapped out for your controllers. Here are the two files. We're going to make sure that we download them. Now, in order to install the profile, all you need to do is run the VR injector, run the game in question, push import, and then select the 
file which you've just downloaded the profile file however i would recommend you look at description of every single nexus page for each game just in case the installation process is different however they all have instructions key mapping and everything you need you're going to find on each of these nexus pages as well as that i highly recommend you head over to the flat screen to vr discord because they will be able to give you all the support you need they have all the profiles you need and they can answer all the questions that you may have they are a brilliant growing community and i would highly suggest you pop in and say hi as always guys thank you very much for watching i hope this tutorial was useful and helpful for you if it was or at least if it was entertaining drop us a like a sub or even a comment it all helps and uh we've got a discord channel so check out the description and i'll see you in the next one